probably mm. noticed a recent move towards an all agencies and all hazards approach right across the emergency sector. We need to recognise that often the community just see a truck, not a particular agency. To them, it's irrelevant who is responding. All that matters is that help is on its way. If you haven't got to know the agencies near you, why not be proactive about getting those relationships going? They can assist with your community engagement activities just as they can assist you operationally. That might be New South Wales or South Australian fire services if you're near the border. If you're close to metropolitan Melbourne, it may be the MFB or the other agencies you work with on a regular basis, like the SES, Victoria Police or Life Saving Victoria. Let's hear from Alyssa Jans from the Alinda Fire Brigade. She had a whole host of agencies on board at the fire safety event in the Dandenong Ranges. The Ridgetop Brigade's Family Fun and Information Day was organised by neighbouring brigades across the ridge. The purpose of this expo is to try to give the local community the knowledge they need to help them to take personal responsibility for their own fire safety. There were three neighbouring brigades involved in the event, including Alinda, Sassafras, Fernie Creek and Kalarama Mount Dandenong. There were also several other agencies involved in the event. Victoria Police, Yarra Rangers Council, Parks Victoria, the DSC, St John Ambulance and the SES were all part of it. The benefits of having multiple agencies at the event is that it increases numbers and gives it stronger support and credibility. I think community members feel, wow, if all these organisations are present, it must be important. Mm -hmm.